Hi guys. All right, so before I get into your reading, I just wanted to take a quick moment to talk about a product that was recently sent to me. This company called Magic Mind reached out to me about a their natural energy boosting shot. It's two ounces. It's a little green. Um, I already drank it because I'm about to do some readings. So, and I found that it really helps with my focus. Uh, as much as I can be re reined in. <laughs> um, so it has matcha green tea in it actually. So which boosts your energy. I don't drink coffee because it's, su it, it's super overstimulating with my intuition. And I have an, a, a problem with anxiety. So coffee makes me like, I feel like I'm going to float away. You know, I'm, <laughs> I can't, I can't be in crowds. It's just way too intense. So I'm more of a tea drinker. But I suffer with being tired a lot. I have two businesses besides what I do on here. It's very hard for me to keep up with, with everything. It affects my video turnaround. As you guys know, in the past, it's been hard for me to be consistent with videos. So um, this product and, and the fact that it was natural and had green tea, um, a type of caffeine that my body can have, um, I was interested in this. It's been a couple weeks. And I've, I, I do, I like this drink actually. So I have, I have tea in the morning and then I'll drink this along with it. And the, the two main things that I, I really enjoy about this is that it helps me with anxiety. That is a huge thing for me because of my businesses and I have trouble with focus partially because I'm so busy. Again, everything sort of veers back to my workload. In the last few weeks, I have noticed that I don't hesitate as much. I've been able to get videos out quicker, move through my business tests. And so I do, um, I approve of this product. Very much so, actually. And I wanted to tell you guys about it and give my honest review. It has nootropics in it. So nootropics are, um, they're supposed to improve, it's a natural way to improve your cognitive function. And that is what I have noticed in this. So because I approve of this product personally, I'm going to be promoing this item. And in the description box, you can click the link Magic Mind. Uh, whatever it is down there, magicmindsomething.com and enter my promo code spiritual soul 20. That is also going to be in the description box to get the 20% discount, um, on this product. So if you're, if you have interest in trying it, if there's any symptoms that kind of hit and resonate for you. All right. On to your reading. Hi guys. Welcome back. All right, so this is for the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And uh, energy and love, what's going on? Whatever messages I can pick up on. It's not specific to single or in a relationship, just whatever I get. This is a general reading, so take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. All right, so my Earth signs. In the pre-shuffle when I was focusing on your energy, the collective, very, very significantly I'm getting commitment <clears throat> or like um, a very serious spiritual connection. Even if you try to resist this, good luck. The earth energies may try to in the beginning, those that have earth, moon, and sun. But good luck. A lot of you will have commitment or something that you're involved in. I don't know where, I don't, it's like, so funny, it's, I wanted to say, I don't know where you think you're going. <laughs> anyway. So now I am getting an emphasis on someone's energy though here about like mood change. It's like day and night, something changing behavior, 
So I don't know if this is your energy or someone you're dealing with, but I'm getting like it's mood fluctuation. Or maybe this person's behavior may change to you or, you know, unlike it was before or yours, however this resonates. But I'm getting something specific about mood. There could be emotion, an emotional imbalance actually happening in for the collect and again I'm having trouble telling who this is the person you're dealing with or thinking about or, or if it's your energy or signs so take out this resonates because you'll know you know or cross watcher you know you get you get one all right now I was also feeling something about a manipulative air sign for the earth signs that are now if this person is in an air sign they have air somewhere in their chart you may or may not be aware of where this is but how, who this individual, how they behave, they don't think before they act, they're reckless. I hear, I heard DUI, so they probably had a DUI or two. Um, I'm just getting like recklessness, manipulative, and this person's manipulative. They're somehow in your energy or they're relevant. They might be making a little noise, I don't know. So for the masculine energies, I'm getting masculines missing someone that they're not near, someone that they're maybe not in contact with, or there's no access, it. but um, because I'm feeling separation, loneliness feeling from masculine energies, whether the masculines are missing the air sign. The, I'm sorry, air. I don't know why. There's something about an air sign here or somebody with air. But I feel as if this air sign might get in the way of things. It doesn't feel pleasant. And I don't think that's who I'm taught. I don't know. But anyway, whoever they are, I don't know. But yeah. Emotional withdrawal from the masculine energy. Masculines are trying to find balance. In It's interesting because in the earth signs, there is an emphasis here on masculine. You know, sometimes I get both, but I am feeling more that. I When it comes to the mood, I'm feeling more feminine energy, but I'm getting emotional with um, withdrawal from the masculines. It's like, okay... Whatever's going on here. Getting hidden news. Hidden news. But I, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with Taurus here. Connect me with the energy for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the current energy, what's going on in love for Taurus. What's going on in love for Taurus, please? You might be sort of focusing on saving and like keeping balance, putting effort. I feel like you have a lot to do here. A lot of things like last minute notice. I feel you kind of going around being social, but it's like really impersonal. Um, but I do feel I'm putting those back because too many came out, but I feel the need to keep this one. Five of swords. So, um, there's something that just doesn't really sit well. Five of Swords. It's on the forefront of your brain in regards to love, connections, things you're dealing with. And I just want to say across the board. So, mm, having trouble letting this go or moving on. Let's see. Let's get some more. What? What's 
show me the energy and love. This could be a conversation. It's like, Energy and love for Taurus. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I mean, it, it just keeps wanting to give me a lot of cards. And, you know, to be quite honest, Whoever you're dealing with, uh, or I mean, if you're dealing with anyone at all, because I'm not getting that strong vibe, because look at this. I mean, four of pentacles, temperance, eight of pentacles. So if you are dealing with someone or interested in anyone, they are not very open. They're focusing on personal balance. Um, they could be very involved in work. This individual works. That's pretty much what they do all the time. They may work every day. They're passionate about work or putting effort into things. I mean, like this individual is just not really that focused. And, and could be you. Could be you that's working a lot because this is earth here. But I'm, I am getting that this individual is really trying to like put effort in a direction Page of Pentacles and King of Wands. They are attracted to you. But their conversation with you is fairly casual. I'm getting that, you know, they're not the biggest like Lance romance. I do think that they gift. This person gives gifts. This King of Wands, they're, they're a gifter. But I would say that the way they speak is a little bit more direct and, and they talk with a purpose. Um, seven of Wands and Two of Wands, Page of Swords. There could be de some defensive energy here about something seen on a phone or like somebody spying or something like this. I'm getting like some, some like a little bit of some obstacles and discussion about like moving on, blocking, blocking someone and moving on. There's something like that going on here. The energy does feel sort of territorial between the both of you. But, you know, regardless of, you know, what your status is, I do feel that there is someone who communicates and is interested in you, attracted to you. Um, but both of you are sort of like, have uh, your focus in a very, sp in very specific areas. So that's the, the emphasis that I'm getting. And this individual, whoever they are, they work. That's <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to Virgo, switch over to Virgo. Universe, can I go with the energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Show me the current energy between Virgo and, uh, uh, the current energy for Virgo and love. What's going on? Everybody is getting th this type of stuff. Okay. The obstacles and challenges popped out. There's a gap in communication or something that like just cuts the flow with this right here. But, you know, it's not that big of a space. So it's kind of unfortunate because I feel like it's something that could be remedied. It, it could be fixed. But it continues to be an open wound, an open problem. It's not being fixed. It's something that's like literally, this could be stepped over, but someone's not doing it. Out of fear. It's interesting because with the waiting game and the in the Travis card here, I'm feeling like 
in time, somebody's determined to go get, to go after something, uh, to, to be successful, but it's like waiting first. It's like, I'm going to go get that. There's this territorial feeling, but I'm waiting. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but hey. Current energy and love for Virgo. Show me more. There's definitely heartbreak. That's Oh, and as I said that, what pops over? <laughs> Heartbreak, heartache and loss, accelerated motion, financial and material changes and choose wisely. Okay, so some of you, there could be another commitment or relationship or marriage involved here that won't apply to everyone. Someone actually may be a little bit indecisive or fickle about choosing commitment or choosing a partnership. That could be the issue as well but i feel as if there's been disappointment in this connection this is not a new person obstacles and challenges there's currently like a block like something in between here or something missing something not connecting it's very disappointing for the feminine energy specifically The masculine energy may be afraid to make a move or, you know, afraid of feeling trapped or something like this, or they are trapped. They feel trapped. I don't know. I'm getting an emphasis on the masculine's like trapped in their head. And this is so disappointing for whoever takes on the feminine energy. I mean, that it is what it is, but that's really the truth. Because I feel as if this feminine really wanted this. Now, okay, so, but sacrifice and awareness. Somebody is going to get the hint. They are going to make a decision. They are going to have clarity. Feels like the masculine. I keep going back and forth between that energy, but of course, take what resonates. Somebody is going to understand and make a decision about another person about <sighs> there could be a couple different options in love that are presented to you could be presented to both of you I feel as if um yeah one of you may have been married before potentially and there was it, it didn't go well that won't apply to everybody but i am getting an emphasis on like there is something about marriage that keeps ringing in my head whether it's present or past or a fear of marriage something like that but yeah so that's interesting In regards to whatever this is, this is going to require a lot of patience. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Capricorn, please. <laughs> you know what I heard, Capricorn? Why? You may be trying to understand why... Or that someone is doing this about you. But I am. That's what I heard. First thing with love. Capricorn love. Why? Why did I lose this person? Why did why did this not work the way? You know, something along these lines. You're asking why. Or you will be. Connect me with the energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. Please show me the current energy. What's going on for Capricorn in love? Oops. Ten of Swords. Oh, Capricorn. Something feels uh, changed over to you. 
You could be, you know, your body could have taken a toll. You might be working too much or not getting enough rest. Some of you may be staying up way too late or all night. I'm getting a lot of exhaustion coming from you. There's some connections in your life, some people that, you know, have stabbed you in the back, Capricorn. Could be somebody that you cared about as well. And this has really taken a toll on you. But that's the thing. It's like there has been a loss here. Clarify, whatever. I mean, sorry this is turning out so rough, but you're thinking about this. You're feeling this loss. You're feeling... Okay. What else for Capricorn in love? Current energy. Okay. Um, four of Wands, but it came up reversed. So it could be there could be something about your home environment right now that doesn't feel stable. The energy isn't stable there for whatever reason, or there's some uncertainty due to an ending of a partnership, perhaps, or like something being on the rocks here, because I'm getting in balance. Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you are independent, single, or will be newly single. I'm getting an ending. Some of you may be have living with somebody, but something's coming to an end or independence. Now, for those of you that are in a partnership, there might be um, something that needs to be refocused or re, I keep wanting to say balanced here. I do feel a lot of independence and independent energy coming regardless of what your status is. Now, the High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. There's kind of like, it's interesting, the High Priestess, this is this person that, the energy of this person in love, it's almost like, not speaking, but knowing there could be a lot of, could be a strong telepathic connection. This person's very intuitive. It's like, you, you know, you may feel in spirit form, they may visit you in dreams. I don't know. I'm just getting like a lot of... Uh, Emphasis on like spiritual energy here. For some of you, you could have um, someone in your family that has passed on that kind of sticks close to you perhaps because I'm getting this very strong like spirit energy and I know that doesn't make sense for every person's connections, you know what I mean, in love. But you may care deeply about somebody who has, you know, passed on. And that, and that the, you're thinking about them right now. That's why it's cut. Cause it's weird. I keep trying. I'm like, okay, not every, but, um, expect communication here. A page of pentacles, king of wands. There's somebody that's very drawn to you. This king of wands is they'll be very casual when they communicate with you, but they definitely have ulterior motives or draw. You're desirable to them in some sort of way. Capricorn. It's like they very much have an agenda, but it's, I feel like they like you, but how, what they message you about is not really what they want to come for. So this person could have a sexual interest or they're just interested in something about you. I don't know. But I, I am getting like an emphasis of you're feeling like a loss on something else. Okay. You could be focusing on growth, money, and stuff like that. Anything else in love for Capricorn? Okay, yeah, so there's some sort of change. 
communication, conversations about that. The Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers and the Eight of Cups, see? So walking away from a connection. It's potential that there's with the High Priestess and Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers, after you walk away from whatever energy that, that you, whatever loss that you're feeling, whatever, whenever you let that go, um, I'm getting like a independent person. I feel like some confusion. There's, there's confusion for me in regards to what's going on for you, who you've lost and what. But there is an independent, stable person that will kind of be coming in, be interacting that you're not maybe aware of yet. When you're feeling independent, when you're, your energy's strong, I don't know, I mean, I'm a little bit feel very muddled trying to talk about this Capricorn. You could be sort of confused. That's why I'm taking on that energy after an experience that you've had, perhaps. But fire, air, communication coming in from air and fire. I do feel as if they'll like speak to you a lot or they'll want to talk to you. Um, okay, so that's what I have. I'm, I'm going to shut it down. Bye-bye.